How does the narcissist feel after losing me? Do they even miss me or miss the experiences we have had together? Aren't these the questions that plague a survivor's mind after leaving the narcissist? Unfortunately, yes. We wonder about these things. We think about these things because we cannot understand how someone can feel nothing after spending years in a relationship. How someone can just be so callous and cold, unmoved. How someone can be so heartless. The answer to these questions, whether they miss you or not, whether they miss the experiences or not, is not a binary yes or no. It is somewhere in between. They do feel a loss, but not of you as a person or a partner they so dearly loved. Let's talk more about this in today's episode. Hi, I am Danish, a narcissistic abuse recovery professional. I help survivors of narcissistic abuse go from feeling broken, hopeless and confused to healed, empowered and thriving. Before we begin, please subscribe if you haven't already because your subscription helps in spreading awareness about narcissistic abuse. When a narcissist is in your life, it is like they are living in a palace, ruling their kingdom without lifting a finger. They wear the crown you bestowed upon them with a sense of entitlement and grandiosity, never truly valuing the diamonds of your love and the gold of your care embedded in it. You roll out the red carpet for them, but they tread on it without a second glance. Always in search of something they think is better, shinier, novel and more appealing. They are in a paradise, but too blind to see it. Then comes the day when you have had enough and they lose you, you leave them. Suddenly the palace turns into a shack. The crown feels like a weight and the red carpet rolls back. The reality hits them like a cold shower. They're not royalty anymore. They lost their kingdom, their comfort and their convenience. They didn't just lose you, they lost the luxuries that came with you because you were their free maid, their sex slave, the one who cooked for them, the one who earned, who took care of all the responsibilities. You were the one who made them functioning and they took all of these things for granted. They lose the red velvet cake and are now left with plain stale dry bread. As the days roll by, they find themselves reminiscing about the past, about the time they spent with you, about the kingdom they ruled. They start to compare with every sunrise and every sunset. Each new face they meet, each new relationship they try to establish is held up against the idealized snapshot of yours, like a mirror that reflects their fall from grace. All of a sudden, all these new sources of supply feel like a downgrade. They are like parched land compared to the lush green meadow they had with you. They are a withered flower beside the blooming garden they once enjoyed. Despite their best efforts to seek validation and feed their ego, they struggle to find someone like you who caters to their needs as you did. They realize that not everyone will treat them like royalty and that is when a huge question mark is put on their whole personality. The narcissist is forced to face the harshest truth about themselves. They are not the king or the queen, but a parasite. They were living off you, thriving on your love, your care and your sacrifices. But without you, they are like a vampire who has lost its source of blood, a parasite who has lost its host. They lose their vitality, their spark, the persona they once felt so proud of. It is a bitter pill to swallow, but there it is, served cold and hard on the plate of their reality. The loss of you brings them face to face with their stinking reality, their dependence on you for their grandiose image. Narcissists love to think they do not depend on anyone else and they are perfect, they are omnipotent. But here is when the reality hits them. It forces them to look into the mirror of self-reflection, acknowledge the parasite staring back at them. This is where the chances of a narcissistic collapse happening go up, but they do not usually collapse even in this newfound self-awareness. Their narcissistic tendencies blind them from feeling genuine remorse or longing for change. They may temporarily go through a phase we call narcissistic hibernation, but even during that phase, they keep sending signals out 
to possible sources of supply. Think of how World Mart from Harry Potter series survived on unicorn blood when he was weak. That is exactly what a narcissist does when hibernating. In summary, when a narcissist loses you, it's like losing their kingdom, their crown, and their royal life. Essentially, they do not miss you. They miss all these services they got from you. They miss the supply. They miss the things that you did for them. That is what their loss is. They are left reminiscing about the comfort and convenience you offered, comparing each new relationship with the one they had with you, only to find them lacking. This loss could make them hibernate, but seldomly collapse. 